for restaurants that have a drive through 70% of their transaction volume happens at the drive through So it really is the cornerstone of their business. So with our solution, we 100% can have more accurate orders. We can do better customer service, things of that nature. Let's talk about the restaurant industry and the industry of fast food. What are the trends that you're seeing? What's the landscape? The landscape, so we're right now, because we, we want to have a focus, we're focused on the drive through space in particular. And in the future, we'll focus on the wider, you know, fast, casual and sit down restaurant space. But the reason we're focusing on the drive through space is two reasons. For restaurants that have a drive through 70% of their transaction volume happens at the drive through So it really is the cornerstone of their business and um, around 12 billion, over 12 billion transactions happen at the drive through So think about the fact that there's all those many transactions, cornerstone of their business, but it's actually kind of in trouble right now because over a billion of those transactions that they process are wrong, which as you can imagine, can be a problem that costs upwards of, you know, uh, dozens of millions of dollars, maybe even a hundred million dollars a year for this industry. And the second thing that's happening is that they're also in a labor crisis. They on average uh, have about a hundred percent turnover. Some places have upwards of 150% employee turnover. So solving the problem of customer service at the drive through in reality, and I can't overstate this enough, can't be solved by hiring more employees because they're just not there to hire or retraining your employees like because of this labor crisis they need a technology solution to kind of fix the customer service at the drive through and the other thing that's happening is while their customer service is diminishing because of this labor crisis and because of this extremely large volume of transactions um they're losing customers to your on-demand delivery services so why drive through a drive through and get poor service and maybe get your order messed up when you can just go directly home and order from your favorite restaurant on your phone so they're really kind of in trouble right now in a few different ways and our solution is not a solution for all of those problems but it does address each of those problems in a certain way so with our solution we 100 percent can have more accurate orders. And so that solves that problem. We can do better customer service, things of that nature. Um, we'll get more into that, but I'm just kind of setting the table for you. So um, I would like to dig for a second more on the customer experience. So today I drive to the McDonald's of the world, to the drive throughs of the world. And you're saying uh, in about 10% of the cases, something goes wrong. You know, are there real art data that demonstrate that people are getting away from the drive through experience and moving on mobile? How do they look like? Like, uh, what, what, what are the insights that are known about this phenomenon? So I don't have the exact numbers right here in front of me, but the data essentially says uh, year over year from the past two years, I think there were 28 million to around, around 20 something million to 30 million less orders happening at the drive through So the drive through number of orders is trending down. And the, you know, mobile on demand, you know, your Uber Eats, your DoorDashes, Caviars, all those guys, their numbers are trending up. And so when you take those two together, you know, they both solve the problem of getting your food fast and convenient. And so they're a competitor in a way. And you can see you know, and also the experience of the drive through we all know has never been the best experience, you know, with the poor communication at the drive through with the person who may not be the friendliest that day. There's like all these, you know, small things that if you can avoid it, you'll avoid it. And you'll just go ahead and order your Uber Eats or your DoorDash and bypass the drive through altogether. We, we want to be able to help out with that.